What's happening world? It's Trey, Narc Divers, and Ricky. Today, we're out here in Buckner, Illinois. If you lived here, you would be home now. Um, there's a mine pond out here. It's very old. I found some videos from the 80s. I used to come out here all the time. It's a good place to probably find something. A lot of rumors that there's too many uh, entanglement hazards and debris to dive this place. Back in 2013, the dive team of uh, Rin Lake Search and Rescue were supposed to come out here and search it, but it was shut down by the uh, village of Buckner at the time. So I'm here today as a citizen, and we're out here searching it, not on scuba, but just with some side imaging and down imaging. If you're new to the channel, my name is Trey. Just like we just said, that is Ricky. Howdy, howdy. I'm a diver, a search and recovery diver, been in the public safety business for over 10 years. And Ricky is my in-training cameraman. He's getting really good at it. But the channel, we primarily go out and we search for missing boats, um, boat props, vehicles. And if we're fortunate enough to stumble upon a missing persons case, then we will do that too. But we have not done that on this channel yet. But it is about outdoors, scuba diving, search and recovery work. But Thank you very much. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the bell, subscri uh, subscribe button. Give the video a like after you've seen it to see if you want to subscribe to the channel or not. And let us know. But uh, Buckner, Illinois, just doing some side imaging and down imaging. See if there are anything in here. Is anything in here? A lot of rumors. So we're going to uh, debunk it if there is or isn't. I'll see you guys in a minute and gals. Where we're at. That's got to be a car. Okay. I'm pretty sure we got a car. The image is gone. But I'm going to try to cooperate with the wind and go back. As you can see, we're not doing too hot. Um, there's no, You can't have a boat motor out here. So we got the trolling motor. And the boat weighs a lot. But I'm pretty sure we have a car. If I can get a quick image. I don't even know where I was at. It looked like the door was open. <laughs> it looks like it's beat up pretty good. I'm just hoping I get the image again. I really don't know where we're at for sure. But we got a car, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think it was about five, six foot of water. Finding it is going to be another story. Right, oh shoot, the wind. Right there. I believe that's a car. I mean, I don't know what else it could be. It looks weird. So, eight foot to the right. So just off the boat ramp, really. Yeah, just straight back from the boat ramp. Go back that way. It's got to be a car. Don't you think? Give or take? Yeah, straight across. It is the only good reading I got was when we were almost doing three mile an hour because of the wind. Everything else was like blurred together. So, probably only get like one good chance of this. The wind we just stopped. I mean, good. It's a truck. It is a truck. See it? All right. I finally got enough speed built up. See the cab, the doors open, the front, the bed, the tires. All right. Let's do some diving. Hey, I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sorry if we got off on the wrong foot. I just don't understand what the deal was. No, I'm not trying to be like, I was trying to be respectful of it. I'm Yeah, I understand that. My, my name's... That's fine. Oh, that's fine. right here. 
I have the tags right here. But actually, there's not a motor on it, so you don't have to have the things. This guy here in this red truck comes walking up here and he says it's none of his business but I guess the trailer plate but he's, he's complaining about license on the trailers he's already called us into the sheriff's department he's he's even inspecting the boat and he's saying that we're guilty but somebody just going through all those questions and things like that sounds like somebody just got a little bit of something to hide it doesn't take any common sense to figure that out I mean he's really really mad that we're here yeah it's very strange very strange and, and I don't think anybody with the common sense knows that somebody trying to hide something so And he's already called in. I mean, he got the hell out of that water too fast. Yeah, I can understand. So, it doesn't make any sense to me. Two harmless people doing nothing. And then you got some old, old guy that's probably ain't been laid in 30 years. I don't understand what to do. Like, how was nice, right? Yeah. Now he just came out of the water and started in. I get the trailer plate fell off. That's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. That's the only thing he asked. And I was like, that's weird. Yeah, but he, his words were, it's none of my business. Yeah. what you guys are doing, but he made it his business. Cold County. When somebody makes it their business, then that's how it works. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I dealt with law enforcement before. If I was doing something like that, I'd be, I'd be taking in for questioning. Yeah. You would, they'd take you in for questioning. <laughs> He wouldn't even leave his name. Yeah. So that guy did us a favor. Thank you. So when law enforcement comes up there, he just played on what's going on and. I'm on the native 45, 68, Yeah. And give him the information on this crazy guy out here, and then we'll be good. Good luck. License plate number. Have 
when I say. You say. Hey, let me ask you a question. You said none of this is any of your business, so why do you make all this your business? No, I didn't make it my business. Hey, my name Why is... would you sit there filming my vehicles now? Because you seem awful guilty like you're up to something. I mean, you're uh, two guys not bothering anything, causing any trouble, and you come up here... No, no, you said no it's none of your damn business, and so you come up here and make it your business. You want to know why we're pissed off? Why that? And, and when the cops do get here, you'll be checked out as, as well. Why is, why is it? What was that? I said when the cops get here, you'll be checked out as well. You said none of you're this is your business. Right, I will. Yeah. Well, have a nice day. You have a nice day. I will. You said none of this is your business, but when you get up here, you made it your business. And you were never pissed off. I mean, you look guilty as hell. You look guilty as hell. Uh, you know? When the cops come here, we'll see. Yeah. Have a nice day. Huh? Huh? No, he never said what he was. He never said what he was. He's just an idiot. Let him. He's going to be famous. He's going to be famous. Yeah. I don't understand. I don't Yeah, he's about ready to get his ass kicked. He's about ready to get his ass kicked. I want to swing on somebody first, but once he's tired, he's going to get his ass beat. I don't play around like that, fucking morons. All right, back to reality now. I think he found it. If I think I believe he has confirmation that he found the truck. You know, it's right there. 